Hello everyone, welcome back to Tokyo Dark. If you're wondering why I am on the main title screen, it's because the last four episodes, I believe, were all recorded in one session. So, this is session number two. <laughs> so if you're wondering why, if you comment on one of the first videos and I didn't notice, that would be why. Now, mind you, that being said, I think only actually the first two episodes at this moment are actually up on YouTube, and I haven't seen anyone comment on them yet. So, moving forward, <laughs> but if you guys do, um, you know, see something, whatever you have, you, you, uh, you know, comment, complaint, tip, whatever, leave it below, and I'll, uh, I'll get to it when I get to it. It may be a couple of episodes later. But I'll do my best. Um, I do want to make another statement before I continue. Uh, I'm playing through this game blind, as I said, I think, in one of the earlier episodes. I'd never played it before and whatnot. And I'm not using a walkthrough. I am uh, just going to play through it and kind of hope for the best, get whatever ending it is that I get. And then depending on my thoughts... Um, on the ending and what your guys' comments are and feedback will determine whether or not I try to get for one of the other endings or not because as far as I know there's 11 different endings that being said I will try to as best I can actively avoid bad endings because um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that out of the 11 that there's some really bad or like dead end endings if you will I'll try my best to avoid those and if I do run into a situation where that happens then you know I'll try to change some options and whatnot because as far as I know this game it has the ability that once you reach one of the saves or one of the endings you can actually load back and it will place you uh, at the point where you had made the decision to veer into that ending so you can actually choose a different option to go down a different path. Uh, unlike a lot of other virtual novel games and, and, and other VN games, like say if you were to sit down and play Clannad, um, if you're playing through that game, I highly re I recommend Clannad. It's a really good game. Uh, the story is... It's a really good story. Anyways, um, like that game or Katsuwa Shoujo, you can actually... Uh, save multiple times and have like well, upteen amounts of save files and load back at every other decision if you want to. This game uh, it doesn't really let you do that because there's only one save and it auto saves every time you make a decision. But it does, as far as I know, based upon what I was reading in the Steam description, it does allow you to, if you reach a certain ending, the next time you can load into the you can load into the it'll let you do a new game plus that will continue from. The point of uh, whatever decision that you made that locked you into that ending. So that way you can choose a different one. So, if I do happen to run into a very bad ending, I will try to get into a better ending, I guess. And then, of course, if you guys want to see me do all 11 endings, or at least try to do uh, a good number of them, then let me know in the comments and I'll do that. And then again, if I get to the end of this game and really enjoyed it, then I may try to do that anyways. All right, so without any further uh, dickery from me, let's just get right back into it. So I believe in the last episode, we finished talking to all the people here about the photo, photograph that we got of Arena in the um, in the sewer. Who, who, at this point, we are guessing is Rena. Uh, I'm guessing it may even be, you know, may even actually be uh, Rena's mother, possibly, or not. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, in the last one, we had we asked about that photo to a bunch of people in Shinjuku, and that gave us the ability to, to travel to Akihabara. Apparently, I have the option to travel. Please HQ too. Interesting. <laughs> to many, Akihabara is a mecca of geek culture with its numerous electronic stores, made cafes, and arcades. But under its cute exterior, 
It also holds a dark underbelly of exploitation that isn't often talked about publicly. So, there's nothing for me to do. I can't go back to the apartment. I could go to the police and talk to some people there, maybe. Seeing how that's an option. I think I'm going to go right to Akihabara. We'll uh, see if we can learn anything about that photo there. What do we got? Look. Cheap cologne and a dumb mustache. And, uh, sorry. Cheap cologne and a dumb muscle shirt aren't going to be enough to convince me that this guy is tough. At the end of the day, I'd probably enjoy messing with a mouth breather like this, but I doubt he'd know anything about pop idols or Reina. I should move on for now. Inside, there's a few sour men gathered around looking at pictures of high school girls posted up on, on the wall. I've got not, no interest in going inside a place like that unless I have to. Probably agree to that. Joshi Kose, or JK for short, why fantasize about a high school student when you can pay money to date them for real? Does anyone actually believe it's all innocent? Though the two guys standing outside of the Rama shop look foreign, I can hear them speaking fluent sounding Japanese. They're pouring over what looks like a map and some drawings. The elevator is out of service. I guess I can talk to these two guys. Hi, I don't mean to be rude, but I couldn't help but notice all the maps and notes you guys are passing back and forth. Seems kind of intense. Cody. No, no, think. Oh, sorry. Thought you were going to hand us a flyer. We ducked in here to escape a very persistent maid. You're not a maid in disguise, are you? <laughs> ah. No, I don't. I could summon the pep required to be a maid for 10 minutes, let alone all day. I was just curious about what you two were doing. Uncovering all. Sion? 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 Sion. Uncovering all the hidden secrets of. Akiba, of course. What about you? Mmm, something kind of similar, actually. But you guys seem a lot more well-versed in the area than I am. How far back do these side streets go, anyway? Oh boy, you don't even know the half of it. There's a whole maze of electronic stores, sales stalls, selling computer and radio parts, and about anything else you can imagine. We decided to map out the area a bit of urban exploration. I'm sure it's not very original, but it's been a fun side project. Akihabara is a fascinating area, that's for sure. Urban exploration, huh? Sounds interesting. Most of my friends just sleep on their days off. Are you guys English teachers? Who, me? No, I'm a writer. Well, an aspiring writer. I've only gotten a few gigs. I'm a web developer in my day job. But it's projects like this that give me fuel for the creative fire. Who knows, maybe you'll be reading something and find an antidote about this conversation in it someday. I'm an artist, graphic designer on the side. Cody here commissioned me to come out here with him and make some sketches as we explore the city for the book he's working on. Huh, never would have guessed people would be doing things like that. What kind of book are you writing? Urban Horror! Neon Noir is the seemingly clean streets of Tokyo. I doubt you'd believe the things that go on in the city, even if I told you. I wouldn't, it might surprise you how much I'm willing to believe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after the experience that she's just had, I, I can't... I can't deny that one. <laughs> so, have you been mapping out the street? Anything interesting about it? Interesting might not be the word I'd use. I've been getting kind of a weird vibe around here. I mean, on the surface it looks like any other side street, Acua. It's got everything you'd expect, a spooky arcade, a maid cafe, a cat cafe, a couple of bookstores. Nothing unusual here, not for Akiba anyway. So far so good, we're almost ready to move on, but... See the elevator over there? Yeah, sure, what about it? Looks normal, right? Well, looks can be deceiving. Yeah, we've got a little pet theory about it. Get this, we think... 
We think it eats people. You think the elevator eats people? We've been staking it out the last few days. As far as we can tell, it doesn't belong to any store in that building. And get this, it only lets certain people in, and when they get in, we never see them come back out. Yeah, go ahead and try it. We have. Go ahead and try it? What? So logically, it's either eating people or Yakuza vampires. I've thought a lot about it. I'm pretty sure it might be a thing. I mean, there's a ton of shady activity around here. Damn, Sion, that might be the book. The Yakuza of Vampires of Akiba. Write this down! What? Oh, I'm doing better than writing it down. I'm already making some sketches. I think this is the best idea you've had all week, Cody. Didn't you say you knew some Hollywood agents in LA? Yeah, and once we write this, there's no way we they can ignore it. Vampires are all the rage, or they were. We can bring them back! You guys certainly have a hell of an imagination. Take it from me. The city has a lot of strange things that happen in real life too. Trust me, you start asking around and you'll be surprised what people tell you. Ooh, interesting people to talk to. Elevators out of service. Yeah, <laughs> apparently it eats people. Uh, look. Every time the automatic doors open, the noise from the pachinko parlor and the smell of stale cigarette smoke assaults your senses. It's pachinko parlor. Go inside the pachinko. Yeah, pachinko parlor. All right. Well, game arcade slash pachinko parlor. Oh no, are we getting another pachinko par machine? Oh god. Sorry, that that's a terrible reference. I'm sure no one will get it. <laughs> what? Uh, it's, uh, okay, I'll explain. Oh no, are we just, we're getting another pachinko machine is a reference to, um, the announcement that they made that there was going to be Code Geass Season 3. And it's an anime, if anyone annoys. Um, and for several years, they kept announcing a new Code Geass pachinko machine. And, uh, all of a sudden... They went to announce a pachinko. They 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 started doing it, talking like they were going to announce a pachinko machine. They ended up announcing season three, like seven or ten years after season two had already ended. And a lot of people online were like, you know, there's mixed feelings about season three of Code Geass. Uh, some people for it, some people against it, and a lot of people kind of up in the air about it because the ending of season two they tied everything up. It's a pretty good ending. I mean, even in my opinion, I watch the show. It's probably one of my favorite anime, and the ending, um, it really does kind of tie most things together. It's its a, an actual proper ending but that you don't get in a lot of different anime shows. Anyways, back to the game. Let's ask uh, this chick about the uh, photo. Hi, sorry to bother you. I'm Ayami. What's your name? I'm Moika. Whatever you want, make it quick. I'm kind of waiting for someone, so... Alright, I'll cut to the chase. Can you tell me anything about this photo? Uh, what decade is that dress from? Wait, glow sticks? Uh-oh, this isn't some idol thing, is it? If you're from some modeling agency or whatever, I'll tell you right now, there's no way I'll wear that kind of gothic Lolita stuff. No, nothing like that. I'm an investigator of sorts. I'm less interested in the fashion and more about the girl herself. How should I know? Idol stuff is so boring. Hey, are you like the investigators on TV? Did that girl cheat with some guy's wife or something? That's so exciting. You know what you should do? You should totally ask the collector about that photo. What kind of collector? No, the collector. It's the name he gives himself. Guy knows everything there is to know around here. My friend Akane told me about it. If that girl's in Akihabara, I bet he knows about it. What, is this guy an expert on idols or something? No, weren't you listening? Like I said, he knows everything. Which shops are employing foreigners illegally? Who's behind on their rent? Hell, he even knows which capsule machines have the rare stuff. At least, that's what I've heard. No offense, but why would some high school girl need information like that? Well, that's... it's complicated. A cane works around here part-time. There was a customer who used to come in and kind of obsess over her, you know? You're a creep. Before long, he was following her home. She complained, but her boss wouldn't believe her, so Kane asked the collector to give her something to make the weirdo go away. And did he? Sure did. He gave her a photo 
of the guy that she mailed to the creep's wife. Let's just say it was incriminating. What'd he get out of it, this collector? Why don't you ask a cane yourself? She's out with someone right now, but she'll be back any minute. Thanks, Mocha. I might just do that. Investigation plus one. Ask about collector. Sure, let's do it. Like I said, I don't really know much. Ask a cane. She'll be back soon. All right. Is there anything else to do in here? I guess not. I guess we'll exit back out and take a look around. Oh, those guys are gone. Ah, tiny ramen shops like this one bring me back. When I was a student, I used to go to the to a ramen shop to go get a bowl once a week. It was my own private little ritual. Mm. Yeah, out this way, we don't get much in the fucking ways of ramen like in the West. Like, if you're gonna have, like, noodles or anything like that, you're probably just gonna fucking buy, like, a cheap noodle bowl or something and then... Uh, or just, you know, just add hot water and there's your noodles. It's like, no, in Japan, you try noodle, you, you get noodle bowls. It's like, hey, there's like meat in it and eggs and, you know, everything in it, everything else in it. 2,500 yen for a parfait? Suppose in a maid cafe, you're not only paying for the food, but for the girls to wait on your hand and foot like a lord. Hmm, not really my thing. A cat-themed maid cafe, as opposed to a regular cat cafe. Maybe there's a police-themed maid cafe somewhere. Kazuki would have gotten a kick out of that. Ah. Who's this guy? One of the many foreigner tourists who frequent the electric town side of Akihabara. A Hawaiian shirt and a fanny pack? Huh, I doubt he speaks enough Japanese to be helpful to me. A Hawaiian shirt and a fanny pack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a typical fucking tourist look. <laughs> I bet he's wearing uh, fucking socks and sandals, too. <laughs> nah, it looks like regular sneakers to me. <laughs> sneakers for sneaking! Nya! <laughs> Welcome, gentle mistress. I'm Akio Nya. What's your name? Uh, yes. Hi, I'm Ayami. Yeah, hello, Ayami Nyan. Oh god, I, I, I gotta stop. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Your table already just a few moments. We apologize for the wait and hope you can forgive us. <laughs> Too many cat puns! Does the mistress have a membership card? No, I don't, but hey, hold on. Take your hands off me. It's important that I personally guide you to your table, Ayami Nyan. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Don't you feel better? Actually, I was hoping you, we could talk about... Oh yes, Mr. Sayami, that option is included on the menu under Full Access Communication. It's only 1,000 yen extra, and then you can ask all the questions you want. Yeah, yay. But if you want pictures, you'll have to order the pretty cheeky photo option. Only 1,000 yen per photo. Yay. I think he may have gotten the wrong impression. I'm clearly starving. Mistress, where are my manners? That wasn't very polite of me. What can this humble servant fetch for you? No, hold on. You're not listening. I want to. I, I only want to ask you about a photo. Oh, is there hungry? You don't even remember me explaining the pretty cheeky photo option. You've gone delirious. We'll get your food soon. We have Nyan Pan Nyan Cakes. Pa Berry Cheesecake. Pursto pasta, and all are available to come in a drink set. <laughs> Too many cat puns. <laughs> I think the developers put this in here on purpose. They must all be Redditors. I have discovered the true secret behind this game. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, let's focus on the phone. Order Nyan Nyan pancakes. I'm a detective. Yeah, that might actually be the proper way to go about this one. <laughs> I'm gonna, she's gonna be like, oh, you can be whatever you want. I'm gonna call you a detective then. Like, what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe we should just leave. I don't I'm not gonna get that much help. I can't actually leave. The option is not there. All right, I'm gonna have to ask. Uh, order Nyan Nyan pancakes. I wonder if I get like plus the neurosis for that because you take care of yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck it, let's order the pancakes. 
<laughs> okay, okay, I'll have the, uh, let's see here. Nyan pan nyan cakes in the... Pretty key? Tea? Oh, excellent choice, Ayami Nyan. It was a very popular item on the menu. That's <laughs> a little emojis. Oh, okay. Right. So order, that means I can finally ask you about this. Before your order arrives, you must first do the ultra-secret Nyan Pan Fan Shear. Nyan Pa what? Do I have to? Come on, surely I don't need to do something silly like that. But I must insist. A yummy Nyan. One can't taste the love cooked into the Nyan Pan Nyan Cakes unless it's released by the Nyan Pan Fan Shear. Fine, you and what do you want me to do? Excellent, Yant. Mistress, already I can feel the love pouring from your kind heart. Let's begin. Please place your paws into the air like this. Like this? Perfect, a yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, there's gonna be minus points to professionalism, isn't it? We can already see this! Perfect, a yeah, I mean, yeah. Are you sure you haven't done this before? Now you must repeat these sacred verses. Nyan Melo Nyan Palo Nyan Pa? What? Nyan Melo Nyan Palo Nyan Pa. Uh, Nyan. Ah, uh, don't forget to raise your paws. Nyan Melo. Ah, she did it. Unbelievable, the passion, the vigor. I can feel the love pouring into the room. Ayami Nyan. You know, I can't lie, I do feel like a bit of my negativity just flew out of me. Now that I have you, should can we- Oh my goodness, Mr. Tenyan, your pancakes have arrived. That was so quick, hold on. Didn't tell me the Nyan pancakes were shaped like little cats. Oh yes, they're painstakingly made with love by our staff. There, there's a little whipped cream tail, it's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, now Ayami Nyan was saying something about a picture, as I recall. Hold up, no need to rush things. We can't talk on an empty stomach, right? Am I gonna get. Oh, I see. Sandy plus 10, professionalism minus 1, and neurosis minus 10? Okay, interesting. At least Sandy went up by 10, but Neurosis went down, which is uh, not necessarily good, actually. Because if I remember what they were saying is that the lower the score in Neurosis, it actually affects um, how quickly or how fast your sanity will change. Anyways. Does your mace have actually make these? Because they were amazing. Of course, a yummy nyan. Now you've eaten, I'm happy to answer questions you have. All oh, right, that. Have you seen the the girl in this photo? Let me see. Nya. Oh, are you all right? I'm concentrating to my fullest yummy yum, but oh, but this young mistress is not familiar to me, nya. So I see. Well, thanks anyway. That dress is so pretty. It looks like it was custom made. I've seen some of some of that quality before, nya. Maybe you should ask the collector. She's a fashion designer in Akihabara who co designs costumes for the maids and idols who don't have a big budget. Wait, didn't the other person say the collector was a dude? Now this is, this one's saying the collector is a she. Some confusing details on who the collect this collector is. Collector, huh? Now how can I find her? Supposedly she has a shop on this very street. Supposedly. She's a very mysterious lady, Ayan Mian. My co-worker, Min Anyan, has met her. Her shift starts soon. You should ask about it. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, and, um, next time, can I get a picture of those pancakes? I ate them so quickly, I forgot. Of course. Okay. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> so, silly question. If I enter back in here... Okay, no, I'm just checking to see if her friend came back. I guess not. Um... Look. A small bookshop that sells mostly manga and cheap, brightly colored magazines. That's what I can remember. Hi, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? It seems like you know the area a little better than I do. 
You're not trying to sell me something, are you? Nope, don't want anything from you except a little bit of your time if you can spare it. Good. I'm Atsushi. Nice to meet you. How can I help you? Nice to meet you too. I am a, I'm Ayami Yato. I'm looking for someone, but I feel a little out of my depths around here. Everything I care feels a little strange to me. Yeah, that's one way to put it. My bookshop's nestled in between a cat maid cafe and a cat cafe. So yes, it's all a little strange. Honestly, it's a little stressful s set of neighbors to have. Not a fan of your neighbors? Oh, uh, well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, who doesn't love maids? Um, cat cafe is a different story altogether, but don't get me wrong. The owner is a nice lady and all, but those cats of hers make a lot of noise at night. If she's not careful, they might drive the locals a little crazy. I guess it's some consolation that the little burgers are so damn cute. Hmm. <laughs> Things have really changed around here. My father owned this store. This area was nothing like it is now. It had more, more authenticity. Nowadays, everywhere I go, it feels like it's one big advertisement. I guess I'm not one to talk. I'm not any better. This bookstore used to be a real hidden gem. We sold, a, we sold original prints in rare volumes. My family were known for as quite the collectors. Collectors? Well, not me. The collection mostly belonged to my grandfather. He had a real eye for art took pride in finding original works. I admired the hell out of him, but his devotion to the arts couldn't keep up with the times. Nowadays, I just sell weekly manga magazines and I've done pretty well for myself. Can't complain, I never had the talent or the eye that my father and grandfather had. But I guess you don't really know how much something means to you until it's gone, you know? I do, thanks for your time, Matsushi. No worries, my normal customers aren't quite as chatty, so having a talk like this was a nice change of pace. Investigation plus five. Surprised you couldn't ask him about the collector or the uh either the collector or the uh the photo. Look. Suppose I lucked out getting an apartment that allows animals. If I didn't, you'd probably find me in a cat cafe every other day. Should I go into the cat cafe? Hello, oh. oh, miss. My name is Aito. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Huh? I'm the owner, Sachiko Akimia. Akiyama. Sorry. Say, you're not a health inspector or anything, right? We already had an inspection last week. Lucky for both of you, I'm not. I'm investigating something and was wondering if you've seen the girl in this photo. Hmm, well, honestly, she kind of looks like all of the other girls around here. You know, the maids and stuff. I don't know much about it. That makes two of us. I feel a little out of my depth around here. Is there a cat in the bottom of the screen now? Apparently there's a cat in the bottom of the screen. Oh, sorry about him. He can be a little too friendly sometimes. Ah, uh, hello, <laughs> little one, what's your name? That's Tomo, you might not want to touch him right now, he's a little sick. He's been making some, uh, messes, if you know what I mean. Out of both ends. Guess you can see why I was a bit concerned earlier. I took him to the vet this morning, but they can't figure it out either, and I t and told me to wait it out, but I think it's getting worse. Sorry to hear that, does this sort of thing happen often? No, no, of course not, my cat's... All get the best care. They're fed the best food and on the best kitty cardio routines. <laughs> kitty cardio routines? <laughs> the hell? They're pampered day and night. I even read the paper to make read the paper to them to make sure they're up to date on current events. Poor Tomo, maybe I should go and ask the cat collector. Wait. Now there's a cat collector? Is it, is it, whoa, how many collectors are there? Cat collector? Yeah, she's a breeder who lives around here who specializes in knowing everything feline. Oh, Tomo, I'm not on the rug, and he threw up again. I'm sorry, can you excuse me for a second? No problem, I'll come back another time. Hope he feels better soon. So many cats. Yeah, so these actually, these things that this game has actually do, do apparently exist in Japan. You can actually go to a cafe where they have cats that basically sit you sit with you while you have your coffee or whatever. And then there is, of course, maid cafes too. That's, that's, that's also a thing. No one seemed to know anything about Reina, but every time I brought her up, I heard the same name over and over, The Collector. There's only clue I had, and I knew that if I was going to get any further in the case, 
That was the thread I needed to follow. Yes. I got that much too. Oh, can I, can I go further? I can. Uh, this is the end, I guess. This is the end of the street. DVD Blu-ray. What is this? Supposed to be an advertisement for uh, Squid Girl or something? Nice. Let's, let's go. But he's gone now, I see. I could go back into the maid cafe. I guess I should start start from the beginning, go to the um Let's go back into here and see if what's her name. Ah, there we go. Ask girls about collector. Hello again, this must be the friend I heard about, a cane, right? Uh yeah, but if You'd open your eyes for literally two seconds, you'd see we're a little busy right now. Go away. Sub. Uh, are they losing on the machine? <laughs> Ask what's wrong? Uh, I guess. Alright. What's wrong? I I don't know you. What, what do you care? You're pretty much... If you don't have maybe I can help. She's fine. One of her customers is an asshole, that's all. Customer. Don't look at her like that. It's not what you think. I work with one of the JK caps around here. They want high school girls in uniforms to serve food and play games and stuff. Nothing weird. Usually the customers want to hold my hand or pretend to be my teacher. Sometimes they buy me things. It's harmless. It doesn't bother you that these customers want to hold your hand or mostly middle-aged men. Hey, you don't know her. Don't act all highly money just because you're older. It's better than working at some shitty restaurant or at a convenience store. Fine, you're right. I can't judge you, but obviously something isn't working out if she's crying like that. I already told you, one of her clients is an asshole. It's Kane, right? Why don't you tell me what happened? I don't get him. He was nice to me, but then... I said I wouldn't go into this dirty sewer with him, and he snapped. He threatened me and told me I was an ugly little girl. Wait, back up. Did you say he tried to get you into a sewer? Oh no. It's Goto. It's that guy from from before all over again. I should have taught him a lesson then and there. Fuck's sakes. I'd still regret that decision. Well, if I get the opportunity to, I'm gonna fucking press. I'm gonna get him good. He's just a fat, disgusting old pervert. I never wanted to see him again. He was so nice before when we would hold... And would hold my hand and say how pretty I was. Why why would he say all those things? Fat old pervert goes into serious. Yep, there's no better than this client of yours. I know him. You know him? Make him stay away from Akane. In fact, make him stay the hell out of Akihabara. Before you said you wanted to know about the collector, right? How about this? You make it so me and Akane never have to see his fat, four-eyed pervert face again, and we'll tell you everything you want to know. Well, do we have a deal? Professionalism plus five, investigation plus five. Tell me about the collector or deal. I'm inclined to say deal, because that guy... That guy has... There's a, there's a problem with that guy, and I should have taken care of it back then, but I didn't. So, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's, let's say fucking deal. If we're dealing with who I think we are, then I'll be more than happy to help out. Really? Thank you. I am... Um, I think I heard him say he was in a... Head into a club in Shinjuku before we left for the train station. <laughs> yeah, heading to the typical usual club. Alright, do I want to go back into the cat cafe and... No, actually, let's... let's not. Let's head to... let's just go right to Shinjuku. Let's go deal with asshole right away. Yeah, I didn't think there would be an option to talk to that guy again. Leave. Leave Akihabara. So, let's go back to Shinjuku. I'm gonna go bust Goto's nuts. Hopefully. And then we go in here and then you're gonna get kicked the fuck out. Oh, crap. You know you're bad for business. 
<laughs> oh, great. Is it just you? Don't worry, I'm not planning on staying long. Where's Goto? Goto, you're sweet on him all of a sudden now? I'm not messing around. You seen him? So I uh, saw him outside the bar 15 minutes ago. Where was he heading? Where do you think? Towards his favorite love spot with some little thing in tow. Believe it or not, I didn't think to follow him beyond that. Better be quick with all the cops hovering around. I doubt he'll stay there for long. All right, cool. So he's gone back to the sewer. Wait, this could be bad. Should I talk to Daizo? No, I'm not going to talk to Daizo again. Maybe I'll after uh, enter the sewers. This is bad. I'm going to run into like some really obscene, like he's going to be like those. Yeah, this is going to be a really bad thing to run into. I don't have my gun or nothing anymore. Yeah, that was all Did taken from her. Oh, if it isn't my favorite detective, suppose I should thank you. Ever since that night, this place has got more of a dangerous appeal. Her, her, her. Detective, you called the cops? I'm getting out of here, you creep. So, bitch was prude anyway. Would barely let me touch her. You're not a prude, though, are you? Now that we're alone, why don't we start from where we left off? Don't look at me like that. She's 16, old enough to know what she wants. As adults, we can do whatever we want, right? Her, her. There's different rules or laws about the age of consent in Japan. I'm not familiar with them, but I know that it's 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 vastly different than what it is, say, in Canada where I am, or in the states, uh, or anywhere else. So I got no frame of reference for that, but I'll just continue onward. The sewer, another standoff. It felt so familiar. Yeah, I know. You're breaking the law. Shoot him. Threaten. Uh, let's just straight up threaten him. Have you heard what they've said about me, Goto? Not in the news. I mean the gossip, the juicy stuff. You must know what they said or I did. What was it? Goto. Answer me, Goto. They say uh, you maybe killed someone and killed, huh? Do you believe them? You think you scare me? I don't believe that crap. Believe what you want, Goto. That person I killed, you know where they said I did it? Down that well. That's right, you're so smart. Why don't you tell me why I might kill someone down there? Actually, I'll tell you. Because down there, no one would find your body. Hell, no one would even know where to look for it. You might not believe the rumors, but you know that last part is true. And let me tell you, Goto, you make me sick. Today, I had business in Akihabara, and your name... No, your stink wafts over to me again. Then I find you in the same goddamn place wallowing in your own filth as always. So, right now, I'm looking at that wall and suddenly I'm seeing one potential solution to my problem. Are you following me so far, Goto? Yes. I, it won't happen again. I won't take girls down here. Enough. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to stay out of Shinjuku. And you're also going to stay out of Akihabara. If you don't, I'll find your fat, disgusting piece... Uh, find your fat, disgusting person and bring you here again. Only next time the chat won't be so pleasant, understand? Do you understand? Yes. Goodbye, Goto. Professionalism minus five. Not on my own. I should have... Um, yeah, shooting him would have been absolutely stupid, but I should have... Because uh, this actually could backfire. I should have chose the other option to... Uh, to say you're breaking the law, and then that would have been more professional, and I could have, you know, I could have actually taken him into, into, well, I don't think I could take him into jail because they have my badge right now. What was that, sorry? Forensic has identified the organic matter in the bag that killed Kazuki's phone as human remains, likely organs from a yet unknown third victim. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Look, I uh, can't even look at the sewer. I don't want to talk to uh, Buddy in there again. I don't have the key on me. I guess I could probably talk to him again just to see how he's doing. Or there's nothing. There's no option to. All right. Let's go do two things. Let's talk to... Um, let's talk to Daizo. I'm going to go talk to... What's her name in the... The small bar doesn't seem to have a lot of customers, but a good view of the... Interesting. I can't talk to him. All right. It's probably because I already talked to all these people. I will go talk to... What's her name, though, if, if it lets me. 
It won't let me. Interesting. Alright. Back to Akihabara then. Travel. I do feel a little better about my decision of now to threaten Goto, but I probably should have done it um, not particular that way. I honestly believe I made my mistake there. Goto is gone. Oh, you're back. You don't look so good. I'm fine. Goto won't give you any more trouble. Seriously? How did you convince him to stop? That doesn't matter. Forget him. Jeez, remind me not to get on your bad side. I guess we owe you one? Not if you hold up your end of the deal. Tell me everything you know about this collector. He knows everything, so I got this theory, right? I think he's some sort of hacker, shutting himself in his room day in and day out. Having all that kind of dirt must be great, though, not to mention he must be loaded. The collector isn't interested in money. Hmm, if you didn't pay him, then how did he get the picture? Moka, you told her. I told you that was private. Well, since you know anyways, when the client started following me home, I was so desperate. I asked the collector for something that would make him stop bothering me. In exchange, he asked me for only one thing. What did he ask for? I used to carry a photo of my dad on me all the time. He died when I was seven years old. I never told anyone I had it. Somehow he knew. In exchange for that photo, he gave me the incriminating phone for free. What choice did I have? I was scared, but, but what? Ever since then, I feel like I forget my dad's face a little bit more every day. It gets more and more fuzzy. Why don't you go back and get it? His shop is right under this arcade. You can't get to it through... You can get to it through an elevator, but... I've never found him again after that day. The elevator doesn't work normally. I tried, you know, just to see. He controls it and leaves a sign that it's turned on. Why you never told me that? I didn't want you going after him, Monka. He's dangerous. Listen, I appreciate everything you did for me, really, but don't go after him. Something something isn't right with him. I appreciate the concern that came, but there's no need to worry about me. I'm sure I've come up against a lot worse than him. Look for three paper cranes hanging in front of the elevator. If you see them, you'll be able to go down. That's all I can tell you. Thanks. Stay safe, you two. For, so he forgot... Interesting. So she took the picture and forgot. Interesting. That's actually kind of concerning. That reminds me of... I'm going to pull another anime reference here on you guys. It reminds me a bit of um, a show called Triple X Holic, or I guess in relation to uh, Subasa. Uh, I can't remember the name of the show. Subasa Chronicles? Chronicles of Subasa? Subasa? Yeah, anyways. Um, it reminds me of that. There is a shop in that show, um, specifically Triple X Holic. Although they talk about it and they visit it and they mention it and and, and whatnot in the uh, in Tsubasa as well, but there's a shop. It's a wishing shop. You go there and they grant your wish, anything that you want, but everything comes at a price. And it's not like you go to the shop and you spend money. It's not money that they're after. They ask for something of equal. It's supposedly like kind of thing. Uh, equal exchange right or you know like uh in Fullmetal alchemist where they're like yeah equivalent exchange right something of equal value kind of like sort of like that except you know in the case of this wish store it's like well uh for example somebody wanted to bring back um kind of the whole story of subasa where like the main character wanted to bring back uh this girl's memories and the penalty for like the cost of her giving him the ability to travel across all the different worlds or whatever to find her memories was the cost of it was that she would never remember him and he was like her childhood friend it's like oh okay and another one was like this one sword guy he wanted to get home and uh he was like this master swords fighter who's like undefeated or whatever and the cost was giving up his sword so it's like yeah it's all these you know it's it's that kind of stuff 
So it's very possible that, uh, it's very, very possible that that, um, yeah, it's very possible that that's, uh, that it could be very possible this collector is something very similar to that. Huh? Was that paper crane here before? One crane. Interesting. Only one crane. I guess that means I need to get a reference to him about from all from the to the collector from all three different people. And it's interesting that one of them says he and the other one says she because even in the show uh, Triple X Hallock, I'm I'm assuming it's uh, maybe a reference or maybe completely unrelated in this game. They just made something up for the game without even knowing. But uh, how this show starts, it is it's a. Uh, I can't remember her name, but it was a witch who was running the store, but she was kind of in a way training an apprentice and eventually he took over the store. So interesting. Anyways, back into the main cafe, the cat made cafe. Ask about the collector. Yes, I am back so soon. Hi, is me Minanyan back yet? I was hoping to ask her about the dressmaker you mentioned earlier. Oh, well, she's here, but, well, thing is, I don't think she'll be able to talk. Yeah. Something awful has happened. It's really bad. How bad are we talking? Monumental, horrifically terrible, and you mean. The perfect storm of soul-crushing existential dread. What? <laughs> How can it be that bad? Can I help? Yeah, might as well. Oh, Yami-chan is so kind-hearted. Maybe she'll talk to you. Wait here one moment, please. Oh, uh, hi, um, yeah. You're right, I heard something bad happen. Maybe I can help you. So if I, I don't think I want, I can even talk about it. Every time I think about it, him, I just want to go into the back and cry. Oh, no, no, this better not be Goto again. Try to relax, I'm a police officer. I'm sure I can find a, figure out a way to make this better. Police? Well, it's, it's Samuel. Samuel, who's he? A distant relation of yours? A boyfriend? Did he hurt you? Run out <laughs> with your money? Samuel Cuddlesworth, my best friend. He's missing. Samuel Cuddlesworth. Okay, I think I see what's happening here. Her ultra rare, one of a kind kitty plush, Mistress Ayaminyan. These things don't grow on trees, you know. A teddy bear. You lost the teddy bear. Professionalism plus one. <laughs> a plush. Samuel Cuddlesworth was not a teddy bear. He was an ultra rare cat plush. Oh, cruel world, this hideous cut of the hideousness of the cosmos laid bare before my very eyes. Why did I think you'd understand? No one understands. I'm all alone. We're all alone and then we die. <laughs> Super overly dramatic for uh, a, a kitty plush. <laughs> oh, I ain't seeing her like this. I don't think she'll ever... She'll be of much use to society until she finds a replacement for her beloved Cuddlesworth. Thank you for listening, Yummy Nan. While you're here, want some pancakes? Pancakes! Insist on information, I'll find your plush. Uh, I think I'll pass on the pancakes. I mean, yeah, it was nice getting the plus 10 sanity, but the minus... Uh, the minus to neurosis... It's just like, oh, maybe, maybe, let's pass on that. Let's just see we'll find the plush. So, listen, I can't promise you as rare of uh, plush as Samuel Cuddlesnipe. <laughs> Cuddlesworth, not Cuddlesnipe. But I'll find you something, all right? Cuddlesworth. Samuel Cuddlesworth, the second, twice removed, actually. Wait, how is he the second twice removed? <laughs> what is this complicated f family tree? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I have no idea where to look. That that's that's just fucking wacky tobacco sauce. Well, I guess I can go back into the, uh, into here. Um. 
Wow, her face is over here, but the ask is over here. This is some weird stuff. About the collector you mentioned, the cap reader? Uh, yeah, sure, but now's not a good time. Tomo keeps throwing up, pooping a lot, and Marie might be really sick. I don't know what to do. When did this all start? Yesterday, his tummy seemed a little upset, but I didn't think much about it. But this afternoon, I really started to him, explode if you catch my drift. I don't get it, though. Nothing in his diet has changed. That does sound odd. What does he eat normally? I mean, you're just a sashimi, mostly. Sashimi? You're joking, right? No, of course not. Why would I joke about that? can't feed a cat sashimi. Of course you can. In the wild, cats eat fish right out of the streams. It's the same thing. That's not exactly the same. I have a cat and... And I bet you feed it those store-bought foods with all the extra vitamins and minerals added in, right? Well, yeah. Ha, sucker, you've bought into the corporate lies about pet health. Kitties can't stay be healthy eating that chemical swill. Chemical swill? Well, my cat's also not puking everywhere, so... Sorry, I guess you're right. I uh, got a little carried away there. I didn't mean to be rude, especially since you're only trying to help. That's all right. Your cats do seem pretty healthy. Was there anything different about today's lunch order? Now that I mentioned it, I usually only order one box from Suichi, the Suichi vendor next door. But for the last few days, I've received two boxes. I didn't really think anything of it until you mentioned it. Oh, what do I do? So you don't really seem too busy. Why don't I seem busy? I am busy. I'm very busy. Do I have a face that sees with this? Says, Please give me extra errands. Well, no, but you're a fellow cat lover and you seem so nice. It would only be take a second to go talk to Suichi. Honest, I would, but I can't leave the store. Can't even think straight about the cat collector or anything else until this is off my mind. So please go. Can you go talk to him? Uh, 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 yeah, let's do it. Today is errand day, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, I suppose I'll say this before I click continue onward. Uh, I know I've been recording this episode for a little while. It's probably over the typical 30 minute, 40 minute mark. Uh, I'm just going to throw that rule out the window and I'm just going to keep going until uh, until I decide to take a break, I guess. Which may be coming up soon because uh, this game involves a lot of reading, <laughs> a lot of talking and... and, and May need to go get a drink. Anyways, uh, good for now. Keep going. All right, I'll have a chat with this Suichi. See what he knows. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Professionalism plus five, investigation plus one. If I manage to keep to do these things properly, yeah, my professionalism is actually going up. My investigate's going back up some, which is perfect. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. I'm guessing Suichi is... Yeah, see? It's this guy. Hi, Suichi Reed. I was wondering if you can set up recurring lunch orders. Maybe twice a week or something? Yep, that's no problem at all. What kind of thing... We we do that kind of thing a lot for... Ah, let me fucking reread this. Yep, that's no problem at all. We do that kind of thing for a lot of businesses around here. Why do you ask? I was just at the cat cafe next door and saw one of your boxes and we're sp moving me here in a few weeks so I thought I'd see what my options were. You came from Sachiko's place, huh? Yeah, she's had a standing order with me for years. I was surprised a woman so small can eat two whole boxes. Two boxes, no her order is only for one. If she was ordering two, I'd suspect she was feeding it to her cats. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that would be crazy. Uh, anyway, do you normally do for them yourself? Sachiko's right night to throw in a very sweet lady, so I always try to do it personally. That said, when it gets a bit hectic, I ask some of the other regulars around here to run it up for me instead. If you see Sachiko, make sure to give me our regards. I'll try to go up there next time. So about that standing order you wanted to set up. Oh, I need to think about it a little more. I'll get back to you later. Thanks for the help. A little sketchy maybe, but definitely uh, not a cat poisoner. Finding a slide the second box should lead me to a suspect. This guy? You like cat cafes? What'd you have for lunch? Accused of poisoning cats! Let's not do that straight up. Uh, what do you have for lunch? That's a weird question to just ask. Let's start with this. You like cat cafes? You wouldn't catch me dead in a place like that. I hate cats! Every time I see one of them, I always, they always try and scratch me. Alright. What'd you have for lunch? Oh, that's a weird thing to ask. I bought a box lunch from the convenience store. Why? 
Accused of poisoning cats. Hmm, let's see who else is around. This guy, this guy is... No, I don't know if he speaks... They spe you speak English, sir? I you like cats. Cats? No, I don't like cats. I have an allergy, you understand? Ooh, what you have for lunch? Huh? I'm not interested, thank you. I don't think it's that guy. Why would it be that guy? Do I talk to this that guy? This asshole? I guess I talk to this guy. You like cat cafes? Oh yeah, sure they're alright. I used to have a cat growing up. What you have for lunch? What are you asking about a date lady? I'm on the clock, I usually get a box of sushi from this from Switchy down the street. Huh. He's on the clock. Oh, when he's on the clock. Hmm. Mm. Seems a little fishy. Seems a little fi yes, it's fishy, guys. Get it? This guy seems more likely the candidate because he would like. I, I can't see why the other guy would poison the cats if he liked them. This guy seems much more likely. That guy, I can't see him doing it because he's just, I don't know, he's just, just the way that he is. Of course, if I get this wrong, it'll probably be, I'm going to accuse of poisoning, I'm going to accuse this guy. What the hell are you talking about? What cats? Why would I do something like that? I'm going to investigate minus five. it's not that guy then it has to be this guy I can't see it being the Hawaiian shirt guy this guy must be lying about liking the cats huh how did you wait wait it's not what you think so it was him as he was the only one who ate from the sushi bar so it's like oh it says I usually get su sushi from buddy it's like yeah okay I rent the apartment above her shop and the furbos are always yelling at night the nut job owner gives them the sashimi at lunch, so I just added some laxatives to it is all. It wouldn't seriously hurt them or nothing. A little cleanup is fair payback for cats keeping me up day after day. The room is ruining my damn life and doesn't care. I know I'm not the only one who thinks that either. She should be glad it was me who taught her a lesson and not someone else. Alright, fine, I get it. You're at the end of your rope. Thing is, I'm kind of a cat person and I'm kind of a cop, considering this is a warning. Define whatever you say, lady. Alright. Interestingly enough, I got a plus five to investigate uh, for getting it right, but I also got a minus five to investigate for getting it wrong. Just same. State about the same. This may not surprise you, but your upstairs neighbor isn't your biggest fan. Takumi, the little rat, what did he do? Is Tomo going to die? He does. I'm, ready. I'm wringing his little neck. No, no. I just wanted some laxatives in the food. I think he wanted to ruin your day, not harm the cat. Seriously. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so relieved. If it's laxatives, so Tomo should be fine in a day or two once it clears out of his system. Just why a little scumbag? What's his problem? You mentioned the cats have been keeping him up at night. Few weeks of that and anyone might crack. You're right. I'm so used to it. I didn't notice, but I'll get a contractor to come out and finally soundproof this place. Oh, that's good fucking advice. This should soundproof. Yeah, that makes sense. Do that. Even the fucking bookstore neighbor next door was complaining about it, so... Tomo, oh, you nearly made my heart stop. I'm glad you'll be okay. Now that's one mysteries behind us. Could you join the discussion at the collector? Of course. I've only visited her once, and I wanted to add a very rare Balinese breed of to the cafe, and after searching for weeks, I was convinced it was nowhere to be found in Tokyo. Just when I'd given up, I'd gotten an email to the blue from her saying that she had the breed I was looking for and to come to her shop. Suffice to say, I was ecstatic. Business was doing all right, so I had some money to spare to only... Only she didn't want money. She wanted panda. She wanted a panda? 
No, Panda was the name of an old cat I had. She was nothing special, an old mixed breed. We moved to Tokyo with me when I was starting out. I don't know I would have started this business if it wasn't for him, but he was also really old and having some health problems. The collector said she'd take care of him, give him the best medical care, feed him the best food. Panda's last days would be in complete comfort in exchange she'd give me the bounty's kitten for free. I thought it was the right thing to do, but Panda was family. What kind of person I am? I gave him away. I miss him so much. I tried to go back and get the kitten back for Panda, but the three cranes outside her shop were gone. I never saw her or Panda again. It's all I can remember. Sorry. Remembering Panda always makes me sad. Thanks for the help. I, uh, I should get back to work. Don't eat the fish achievement unlocked. Uh, so about... Feeding cats raw meat or raw fish. Apparently it is better for them rather than just typical kibble and stuff. As long as you know the source that you're getting it from. Uh, how do I know this? Um, <laughs> bad, uh, terrible and bad and you shouldn't listen to me. Um, I know this by watching another YouTuber. So <laughs> there's a, uh, a YouTuber by the name, I think his name, uh, Michael Jameson, who has uh, risen to South Africa and he keeps a bunch of tigers, dogs, cats and whatnot. He has in, basically in this house in his yard, he has two tigers that he keeps care of. Yes, fully grown tigers. Um, he has cats, dogs, monkeys, um, you know, bunches of them. And he feeds his cats, including, yes, the house cats, the same raw meat he basically feeds the tigers. So, I bet mean, he gets all his stuff from a, from a local butcher, apparently, that he knows. So, you know, you, you got to know your source and you got to make sure you're uh, obviously keep your cats vaccinated and all that stuff. Apparently, it's better for them, but I don't I don't know. I'm I mean, I don't like cats. Sure, but I don't own a cat. So I, I, I couldn't tell you uh, what would actually be better. And I'm I'm, I'm not really going to look into it. Hey, look, we go. Two cranes out. Two cranes. I can't believe those rumors are true. Assuming everyone's not lying to me, there's one more to go. Yes, so the one more that's to go is I need to find a plush for what's her name. Yeah. That's right, that's what I kind of figured. Play the pachinko game. Do I actually have to play this? Right, left, and grab. <laughs> drop and grab. Oh boy. It's gotta be a cat. Drop. Grab. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh. First try! First try! <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> Alright, back to the meat cafe. Jeez. Give plush toy. Gasp, she's beautiful. Where'd you find her? I deem you Countess Belinda Flufflestuff. <laughs> Countess Belinda Flufflestuff. <laughs> Thank you, Nyan. Lady Belinda isn't Samuel, but I suppose one must learn to move on from those things. Whoa, that was quick. Anyway, since you're feeling better, can you tell me what you know about this collector now? Of course, Mistress Ayami Nyan. I heard she studied fashion design in France, and then came to Japan. She knows everything there is to know about Akiba fashion. She designed the maid costume I have on right now. She didn't ask for money? Strange. How, how'd you find her? Well, you probably won't believe me. I spent a lot of time outside here promoting their cafe. Sometimes I noticed the signs would flicker, the images on the, them would change. I can see them from the mistress's expression that she doesn't not believe me. It's true, I can swear on my nine lives. She shows you what you want on the sign, like an invitation to trade. Then when there's three paper cranes outside her shop, you go down. She shows you what she has. Her taste is impeccable. She's never wrong. Listen, I get that minds are supposed to play along with fantasies and all, but... 
That's kind of hard to swallow. But it's true, a yummy yan. Supposedly, she got some local computer hacker type to give her access to some of the signs in the area remotely. I think the other shop owners here don't mind because it only happens occasionally, and stories probably bring in more business than the signs themselves. Oh, am I missing something here? How does she know what you want? A yummy yan, you're not. You're supposed to be the detective. Not me. I bet she's got webcams everywhere so she can see what the girls are wearing and try to bait them in. It's a small group of people who know that rumor to begin with. Anyway, it's like subliminal advertising, yeah. Hmm, Mina, Nia, what's wrong? No, it's not like that. It's not like what? This dress, she... The one she made for me, it was exactly what I wanted. The bells, the stitching, everything down to the last detail. Everyone always assumed I had a commission, but I never told anyone the truth because I was scared. Somehow she knew exactly what I wanted, and all she asked for in return was the old handmade dress my mother and I made together. An amazing deal, right? But something wasn't right about her or her shop. I mean, who has a shop that's four levels deep in the basement in a room with no other customers? I felt like some sort of criminal, even though all I was doing was getting a dress. And you know that dress the one I gave up, it was cheap, the stitching was subpar, and there was patches all over from times I had to repair it. Despite all that, I wish I'd never given it away. Sometimes I think I should try and get it back, but the truth is, I'm afraid to. I don't want to go back there. Ah, sorry, Yaminia, and I kind of got a little serious there, but that's everything I know, though. Thanks again for getting me Lady Belinda. No problem. Don't go losing her now. Achievement unlocked. Made new friends. Uh, yeah. Changes the signs to show what you want. Isn't that Tanaka in the sign now? Oh boy. It is Tanaka. Actually, no signs too. If you look close enough, that's Tanaka. Or Kazuki. Whichever you prefer to call him. Ah, uh, except for this fire signs, but yeah. Okay, this is probably gonna be bad. That's it. Three paper cranes, the buttons on the elevator are lit up now. Yeah, I had to help three people to get in. Now my worrying about this one is what's going to be the price? What is she gonna ask for? Or he, or whoever, like, the collector. What are they gonna ask for in return? This is going to be a rough one. Let's go. This doesn't seem right. Doesn't match the descriptions I got at all. <laughs> what was that? Who's there? Reina? Is that you? Huh? Who's there? Look around you. Interesting, isn't it? It said the cranes can grant a wish. What is it you wish for? Hmm, I never wanted to believe in wishes. Are you him, the collector? Collector, Crow. One of the many names given to me over the years. Oh, but we have no time to waste on such boring trivial things as introductions. Now you want to know who I am? Oh, I know who you are. Detective Ito, or should I say, investigator. So hard to keep straight. I hope it's irrelevant. What you call it, it's... I suppose it's irrelevant what you call yourself now, as you've arrived exactly where you need to be. Something's different. Yes, yes. What is it, I wonder? Ah, oh, that's it. You're like me, after a fashion. You see things differently from those around you. The world is not so solid and unchanging as it is for them. Things bend, they break. Am I wrong? No, nothing's been the same since Kamakura. Yes, yes, of course. The girl you murdered, Reina. Was that your fault? She gave me no choice. Something made me. Of course it wasn't. Never meant to. Something made me. That's about right. Then you, you are a puppet dancing at the end of your strings to a tune you cannot hear. No, that's not what I said. I'm no one's puppet. Are you sure, detective? Do you really feel like everything you've done is under your control? When faced with the impossible, you're so certain 
that every choice you make is your own. I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they're made for me. Which is easier, I wonder. The knowledge that the cause of all your suffering and joy is of your own doing or someone else's. I don't have time for this. Uh, of course, of course. Our conversation is tilted towards the philosophical, but you're not here for philosophy. You want something more tangible. I want information. Facts. Now, it is not my business to know what people desire. It is... No. It is my business to know what people desire, and that is not what you seek. What is it you want, truly? Tanaka. I want to know what really happened to him. No, it's not only that. I want to know what's happening to me, too. Nothing makes sense anymore. I'm tired of chasing after clues that lead to dead ends. Dead ends. Perhaps I can be somehow help you, but first, please indulge me. I have a few questions. I'm curious, so curious. You're a unique visitor, after all. Yes, nothing like the others. Fine, what do you want to know? The night of your partner's disappearance, you got on your knees and begged for help with tears in your eyes. Not a very typical behavior for a detective, is it? I know, I regret that decision. I should have threatened Goto. I felt so lost. It worked. Ah, oh, man, I, I made the wrong... I, I know I made the wrong choice. But... I felt so helpless. Tanaka was in the sewer somewhere, and I didn't see another path forward. I was desperate. What is this? Some sort of psych test? I came here for answers. Enough with the games. It's no game, detective. I can get you what you seek. This is my price. I said you just want information to use against me, since we've already got enough. Blackmail, how pedestrian, simplistic. No, no. I got no interest in that. What do you want? Everything I collect brings me closer to an understanding, much like you. Only the puzzle I assemble is considerably larger, and the previous you provide is well worth the trouble. Shall we continue? Don't have a choice. You're already, you've already made it. You show such little patience, detective. Surprising, considering the effort you took to get here. The girl, Reina, she's the one you've been chasing, yes? Let's talk about her. Why didn't you shoot her again in the sewers when she was holding your dear Tanaka at knife point? Why didn't you pull the trigger? She didn't deserve to keep her talking. I didn't want to hurt anyone. I should have. Mm, keep her talking. I didn't want to hurt anyone. All this is true. <laughs> she didn't deserve it. I, well, she does now. <laughs> keep her talking. Don't want to hurt anyone. I should have. Keep her talking. That was actually what I was thinking. The situation was hopeless. The best I could do was keep her talking. Learn as much as I could. Interesting. Most interesting. Though she's gone, the sleepless nights continue, don't they? You've taken your pills twice. Is that enough to make a difference? Do they help? Does it not make you question the futility of it all? Most interesting. Perhaps you've told me enough. Yes, yes, this is most useful. I'll accept this trade. In return, you want... What was it? Oh, yes, that's right. A path, a way forward. I suppose it's your turn to ask the questions now. What are you? The mask? Where's Tanaka? Is he alive? Let's ask Tanaka. That's in the dark, whether he lives hmm, is more difficult. The dark. That's not the first time I've heard that. What is it? Where can I find it? The better question is where can it not be found? Can you not feel it around you, following you at every turn? It pays great mind to those within its walls. You know of whom I speak. The common thread that binds all the misery in your heart. Reina, and if that's where she is, Tanaka must be there too. The girl's thread is a complicated one, yes, very tangled. It begins in... Kabuch... Kabokicho. <laughs> A talent agency called Omega. Cappuccino, hmm, I know it well enough. As I imagine any officer of the law would. The dark is a sacred place. It lives and breathes, changes shape, and goes where it pleases. And it is the girl who suffering determines its shape. Without understanding its root, you will never find your way, or could tear you apart, like it almost or is it. Like it almost has already. What are you in the mask? 
asking what he is is the last important is the least important let's ask about the mask i don't know why but i get the hunch that you'll know what this is what is it reyna was obsessed with it it must be important but i can't figure it out ah uh, i see most interesting relic it makes people do the most fascinating things uh, uh why did Raina want it so badly? It's a tool. Instead of living in fear of it, why not use it? It may be the key to help you find your precious Tanaka. Though, as powerful as it is, one cannot expect to use it knowing nothing about it. You said it yourself. It all started in Kamakura. The Kawanas have a quite a history with that mask. Kawana's mine, the Shrine Maiden girl? Her grandmother was the one who gave it to me. The very same. It gives me the creeps. Maybe I should have gotten rid of it. Don't do that. You'll never find your way without it. And the last question, what are you? A dressmaker, a cat breeder, a blackmailer. Seems that no one in this town can agree anything about you except your name. There's no way anyone could know what you do. It's impossible. So what are you? Take a look around you. Is it not familiar? Can you not smell it? Stench of corruption? I've been here for so long, longer than you can imagine. Feeling the, des feeling the desires, the loves, the hatred of mankind flow through this place. For you, detective, I'm exactly who you need me to be. And shall we return our attention to the matter at hand? Our trade, after all, was not for the knowledge of how I fit into your story. It was for a way to clear the... How did you put it? Oh, yes. To clear the dead ends you run up against. Let us reconsider your problem. The mask and the dark are inexplicably linked. Pursuing one without the other is futile. Now you're an enemy of the dark. It will reject you without understand... It will reject you without understanding. It, it and you'll be lost without the necessary tool. How will I know when the path's been opened? Ask your puppet master when end of the bargain has been upheld. You seem awfully eager to help me. What's the catch? Somebody tells me I'm going to regret talking to you. Paranoia and unnecessary feeling. As I said, people fascinate me, especially ones as unique as yourself. You're a, a detective. I want to give you the tools you need to finish the job. From there, uh, now that is the interesting part. I look forward to seeing your progress. Consider your debt to me partially repaid. The rest I shall collect at another time. Tell me, my little poppet, if you can see your strings, does your dance not continue till we meet again? Uh, this doesn't bode well. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. The air in the collector's basement was stagnant and heavy. If I had stayed any longer, I felt like it may have suffocated me. The time I was there, Akihabara faded away into distant memory. Returning to the service, put my hand up to shield my eyes from the sunlight and listen to the people on the street. Their conversation seemed so pointless. Part of a world I no longer belong to. The busy sound of the streets swept the cobwebs from my mind, forcing me to remember everything I told the collector and everything he impossibly knew. I told him so much, but I did have a but did I have a choice? Maybe he was right and I was a puppet after all. At that moment it didn't matter. The dark and the mask both belonged to a world I was now a part of. More methods of investigation wouldn't lead me to them. Countless paths were narrowed to two, and I had no choice but to march forward were the leads I had been given. As I left Akihabara behind, one thing bothered me. How did the collector know so much about me? Or was it really so easy to read? I didn't have time to dwell on it. Kazuki and Rainer were in the dark. That much had all been confirmed. And I now had a means, however impossible, to find them. Two paths, the mass and the dark. Both were necessary, and I had to make a choice of which to follow first. Chase after a talent agency in Tokyo's red light district. Or back to Kamakura to visit Maya, the girl I nearly got killed. 
Neither seemed very appealing. My logical side didn't quite understand how either would help. But as everything around me cracked and crumbled away, logic didn't matter anymore. I had to choose, or maybe something would choose for me. Kamakura and Kabuchiko. I have to choose now. Well, most interesting. Well, 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 well. I wasn't expecting to be given this option. I wonder if everything that I did leading up to this point has been pretty much for mute, and then now this is going to be actually the meat potato of the game. I fucking don't know. Um, investigate the dark or investigate the mask. Both, like she said, both are important. But if I could really only investigate one, then fuck, I almost need to replay the whole game to actually see the whole story to actually investigate the other side of it. I feel like the better option is to actually choose to investigate the mask. However, the more interesting option is to going to be investigating in the dark. And that option of investigating the dark will potentially lead out some really bad places. However, that could make things a lot more interesting. <laughs> mm. How about this? I'm going to flip a coin. I'm going to bring it up and uh, I'm going to... Oh, come on. I'm trying to unlock my phone. There we go. So, random... Random.org has an awesome app. Coin flipper. So, heads will investigate the mask. Tails will investigate the dark. And... You guys are just going to have to take my word for it as for whichever option comes up. And best two out of three is heads. Investigate the mask. So I guess we're going to the mask. All right. Two Kamakura it is. I came here to find out about the mask, but there's something I've got to do first. Six months ago, I sent one girl to the morgue, very nearly killed another. Since then, I thought of coming here to apologize to my Kara countless times, but couldn't will myself to see her and f be faced with my failure. I think of the fear and hurt in her eyes, and I feel nothing but shame. For my own peace of mind, I need to tell her the truth about that day and how about how I lost control. Oh, she can find in herself to forgive me enough to help me with my investigation of the mask. Wait, it's fall, and the why are the cherry blossoms blooming? It's like nothing's changed since that day. That is a very good question. Oh, is Buddy still here? No. Oh, Gaga. I think his name is Gaga. The amazing Gaga! Oh, Magira. Oh, it's, uh, you! I was reading the paper and I uh, or saw your picture and then I saw the picture on the TV news and maybe the seven chan message boards after I looked you up. I'm sorry, I was curious. I remember meeting you and I couldn't believe it. It's like I met a celebrity or something. Oh, and of course, it's not good or anything, but you know, you never know who you'll meet in this business. This everyone always seems so unassuming. I mean, that's not to say any of it was your fault or anything. Yeah, she kind of looks like a, a hurt expression. Like, oh. Okay, so the message boards are pretty bad. There's a lot of bad stuff on there. Like, whoa. Pretty wild stuff. Are you done? Alright, sorry, yes. Hello again. Cherry blossoms? Where's mine? Leave Kamakura, my grandmother. I guess I'll ask him, but what's going on with the weather here? It's fall. Why are the cherry blossoms out? It's beautiful, isn't it? There's a species of cherry tree, the. Prunus 
Okay, I can't read that. I know that's supposed to be the Latin or scientific name for it. I'm gonna try. Prunus subhutella? Autumn nails. That sometimes bloom twice a year. At least that's what it says online. Who would have thought we'd have them here in Kamakura? Well, I say Kamakura, but they only seem to be in this part of town. Lucky, huh? Cherry blossom tree that blooms in the fall? I've never seen it. Are you sure you got your facts neat? That seems impossible. Impossible? Do you doubt my botany expertise? Impossible would be if the seasons started reversing themselves, don't you think? Yeah, it certainly feels that way. How huh, you say something? Why the glum face? Anyway, I hope you take advantage of the weather and go for a picnic or something. The blossoms are so peaceful, don't they put your mind at ease? Where's mine? Leave Kamakura. Mine's grandmother. Stu, where's mine? I'm looking for my Kawana. Have you seen her? Oh, you're looking for mine again, huh? Are you sure that's a good idea? She was pretty upset about the uh, happening last time you were here. I mean, I've barely seen her leave Kamakura since then. Maybe it's best you leave her alone. It's important to talk to her. I suppose she'd be at the shrine that's down the street like usual. Mine's very important to this town. Please don't upset her too much. We all want everything to go back to normal. Mai's grandmother. Is Mai's grandmother still at that house near her? Hmm, you want to see her? Well, she is still around, I suppose. I see the coming and going all the people around here. I don't see her getting out much, though. Oh, yes, that reminds me. When you were here last in April, did she, I don't know, give you something? I'm not accusing you, of course. I just I heard that there was an important artifact that was missing last spring. Kauna's old and losing her faculties a bit. Maybe she gave it to you by mistake. Can you remember anything like that? Mask? Sorry, I don't, or the mask. Yeah, fuck it, we'll talk about it. Oh, so you do know about it. That's, uh, that's a relief. Wouldn't want to think something so important was stolen by some riffraff, right? So you do know what... So, do you know when they'll return it? You'll have to ask HQ about that sort of thing, sorry. I did a contract several times. They said they didn't know anything about it. They said they didn't have it. You don't think they're lying about that, detective? They wouldn't lie about something like that, something so precious to this town, would they? I'm sure whoever you talked to was mistaken. Yeah, that must be it. I'll keep trying. Enjoy your time in Kamakura. Leave Kamakura. Exit. Ah, oh, that's my only way out. I have to take the street, the station. I guess that makes sense. This is Kamakura was like 50 kilometers away or whatever. Uh, yeah, I know that that's proper destination is not there but i'm gonna go this way first i'll take a look around one crow that's good only one crow go to the shrine is my gonna be at the shrine if i go there i'm gonna freak her out too bad i'm going to the shrine yep my is there and the music got dramatic this can only end badly Cherry blossoms fell gently on my feet as I approached the Kawana family shrine. In front of me was my Kawana, still dressed in the outfit of the shrine maiden. She hadn't seen me approach. I stood there frozen and she had seen me approach. I stood there frozen and terrified. Same helpless look on her face as when she held a knife to her throat once before. This time, it was me she was terrified of. We were the only two people at the shrine, yet I couldn't shake the feeling of being followed. A familiar presence watched me from the shadows. Kill her! Uh, no. Uh, no! Uh, no. 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 I'm letting the timer run out. I don't want to kill her. No, I won't do it. Why now? Why her? I don't have to do what you say. I'm not a puppet. I can choose. You? The detective from before? Why Why are you just standing there? Is Is it over? I'm fine. Sorry to scare you. I'm here to talk to you. See, I... I've never been as good at apologies. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. I've been meaning to talk to you ever since that day. I should have come sooner. You're here to apologize? No? I didn't hear from anyone in six months. The police only talked to me once, and then everyone here started avoiding me and acting like it never happened. I guess that makes me the last person you'd want to see now. After that day, I'm sure some police came by and told you that 
I was only following procedure, but that was bull. Police in this country don't go around shooting people. I didn't feel myself and lost control, putting you at risk. Sounds vague to say I lost control at such a crucial time, I bet. But that's the truth. The truth? It's strange, isn't it? The cherry blossoms, I mean. It's silly, but every time someone comes here and says how beautiful they are, I get so mad. It's like they don't understand my feelings at all. What's with the fucking creepy music? But that's selfish, huh? It's not like I want everyone to suffer along with me. I imagine the only other one who understands that is you, Detective. Your name is Ito, right? It's so quiet here, it's hard to imagine something like that day in April really happened. In a place so peaceful. But it did. I know that you and your partner were only doing what you could to save me, but I wish I could have helped. I felt so helpless. At least you told me the truth, thank you. You know, I asked Grandma about the mask the red-haired girl was after, and she denied knowing anything. But it was a lie. I found one of her old journals at the shrine, and she wrote that the mask was important. It had to be hidden away. Why would she lie to me? I'm sick of everyone always trying to protect me by covering everything up. Grandma hasn't been the same since that day either. She shuts herself up in that old house and mumbles to herself about darkness and purity. I'm so worried about her. My gut tells me that the mass has something to do with it. I'm, I'm sorry. Listen to me rambling. I bet you don't care about any of that. The truth is, I think you're right about the mask having to do with all the strangest. I actually came here to ask you about it. You think so, too? Then let me help you. I I don't know anything, but maybe Takashi does. I'm oh, sorry, Takashi's my brother. He used to live here in Kamakura with me and Grandma, but he left the first chance he got. We talk on the phone all the time, but he refuses to come back and visit. I get the feeling he knows something I don't. He won't ever tell me about how my parents died. Where does your brother live now? He's an instructor at a kendo dojo in Asakusa in Tokyo. Here he's a big shot in the kendo world. Hmm, sounds like he'd be a good be a good place to start. You think he'll speak to me? Hmm, you can try. He's never been good at opening up to strangers, though. That's worth a shot. Thanks for helping me, Mai. I don't have the option to kill her. That was bad. Is the mask... Was the mask trying to get me to kill her because... Hmm, I don't know. Well, I'll see if I talk to Grandma. I suppose that's another option. Go away, no visitors. Oh, no visitors. All right. Interesting. Leave Kamakura. Interestingly enough, I don't have the option to go to the apartment. I don't have the option to go anywhere except for to Akusa. Asakusa, the home of Sensoji, one of the most famous temples in Tokyo. It's also a bustling entertainment district. Er, it remains a pocket of traditional culture surrounded by the city's high rises. Travel. Travelusa! What? We travel! My investigation up to that point led me to believe that finding Takashi Kawana would be difficult and convoluted, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Turns out his Kendo Dojo was well regarded as a popular training spot for a few national champions and several of the city's pol police officers. Later made me nervous. The information I was asking for was sensitive and I didn't want word of my investigation finding a way back to HQ. A few misfire questions could end up with the officers knocking on my door, or worse, Yukimura himself calling me up. I had to be cautious. Well. Alright guys, this is actually going to be it for me for this episode. Um, I'm going to take a little a break here. <laughs> uh, hope you all enjoyed. I know this one's been a little bit of a long one, but we got a lot of ground covered, I think. We, we went to see the Collector... Uh, we dealt with Goto finally, although I kind of regret how I dealt with him. I probably shouldn't have threatened him. That could come back to bite me in the ass. Um, but still. And we... <laughs> did a fucking coin flip to decide whether we were going to investigate the mask or the dark, and we decided to investigate the mask. So, we're going to see where that goes. Could be interesting. 
All right. Um, yeah, I hope to see you all in the next one. LZ signing off. <laughs>